Happy Tuesday, Mid-Missouri. Happy Valentine's Day. Your Valentine's Day is looking a bit breezy and a bit wet as well. Future track showing some light showers moving in this morning. Now these are going to have a hard time making it to the ground and in, in totality. We will still likely see rain. We've been watching radar this morning and we expect a lot of what's on radar at the moment here just before 5 a.m. to evaporate, but we know some of it is getting to the ground. I've had a report from Pettis County of some light rain on windshields. Overall, though, it's going to be very light rain that moves in, very sporadic in this first round through about 5 o'clock to 6 a.m here things will start to maybe pick up a little bit towards about seven to eight still this is what i would consider round one with showers making it as far as columbia by around seven to eight o'clock and then we're looking at maybe somewhat of a dry patch from about eight o'clock to about 10 and 11 and then we start to see more activity moving back in from the west this is the beginnings of round two round two going to be more widespread a little bit better intensity out ahead of this occluded front that's going to pick up through uh, occluded front notably with behind that we're not seeing a big wind shift winds are still out of the south but that front is going to be driving that rain at the upper levels there the atmosphere and then behind that after about three o'clock we start to dry out again and we'll pick up uh, a decent amount of time maybe a little bit of sunshine throughout the late afternoon but just in time for your dinner hour on valentine's day evening we'll be watching more pockets of rain try to move through here on the very back end of this system that may have a little bit of thunder with it we're tracking more instability on uh, that uh, that side of the system and so some of those may have a few rumbles of thunder the best chance for a strong to severe storm though stays just to our northwest towards kansas city and st joseph if you're headed to kansas city keep that in mind but otherwise uh, we're looking at just rain and some wind uh, today we're going to see gusts anywhere between 30 to 45 miles per hour. We may actually see some of those gusts temporarily peak just above towards about 50 miles per hour at times. So it's going to be a windy day. Hang on to your flowers if you're out walking around, especially between about uh, noon and three o'clock. Winds will continue throughout six to nine, but the gustiest winds are expected in this window and perhaps starting just a little sooner by about 10 a.m. So it's going to be a breezy one. Uh, temperatures today in the 50s, but notice this is the big thing. Your rain still lingering for your dinner hours. So if you've got plans, download the ABC 17 Storm Track weather app and you'll be able to keep an eye on that. This is a cold front that trails the system by the time we get to Wednesday. So Wednesday temperatures are a big question mark because depending on where that front is, that plays a big role in how warm we get by the afternoon. Notice Temperatures have fallen quite a bit from the previous forecast for the last few days. This has continued to shift a little bit. And so now we're looking at a high somewhere in the 50s near Columbia with potential for 60s near I-44. Meanwhile, folks may only get up into the low to mid 40s uh, near Brunswick and Macon and certainly in Kansas City. If you're headed to the parade, the Chiefs Parade, the Victory Parade, uh, not only is it going to be packed, but it's going to be chilly as well. Um, Grab your coat, grab your hat. We may even have a little cold rain by the time uh, we get towards the evening. That parade, though, wrapping up into the mid-afternoon, we should be dry. Uh, just give yourself uh, maybe uh, maybe an umbrella, keep it in the car in, in, in case things change because uh, I know wait times for those shuttles are going to be quite a while. Heading into Wednesday night, that rain's moving in, but we'll also see some snow in the far north, especially overnight into early Thursday morning. That could bring us some minor accumulations for most, the dusting to an inch. We do see the very entrance of a one to three inch range in the far north near Brunswick and Macon. And that's something we'll be tracking as we head into the middle of the week. Valentine's Day again, wet and windy. And then we're cold on Thursday. We'll be mild again uh, Wednesday with some folks having the potential to see 60s. Again, if you're near Columbia, that's more likely in the 50s. But yeah, Thursday and Friday were cold. Highs in the 30s. We're back in the 50s for Saturday and Sunday reaches 60s with sunshine in store for both days.